Time management is a hot button topic for good reason. Time is the most important and the most limited of our resources. Our guest today has five time management tips to help us make the most of it. Welcome to the Simplified Organization Podcast, 15-minute conversations with real moms about managing our homes and family life cheerfully to the glory of God. We can actually enjoy housework and love being homemakers when we focus on truth and work with gratitude. I'm Misty Winkler, author of the book, The Convivial Homeschool, Gospel Encouragement for Keeping Your Sanity While Living and Learning Alongside Your Kids. I also write and podcast at simplyconvivial.com. Today, I have part two of my conversation with Wendy Alsame of Plan, Prep, Pray. Wendy wears many hats. She's a wife, a homeschooling mom to five amazing kiddos, and a firm believer that we can find peace in the midst of life's chaos. She has learned that when we become good stewards of our time, we open the door to a world of peace and fulfillment. She believes that our identity and purpose is found in Christ and glorifying Him. So whether you're looking for tips on homeschooling, homemaking, or simply seeking a little dose of inspiration, she is here to help you seek peaceful presence. Last time, we chatted about overwhelm, planning, and keeping up with life. Today, Wendy shares her top five tips for time management and preserving your energy for real life responsibilities. So grab a basket of laundry to fold while we chat time management. So do you have any like time management or energy management? tips or ideas for, you know, when there is so much to do, we want to make the most of the time that we have. What do you find is the most effective thing for that? Okay. So my top five. Okay. All right. It's hard because I have a lot. So (laughs) I'm going to say is to prioritize your tasks, prioritize your tasks in the sense that Make sure that what you want to do or what you want to accomplish aligns with what your family's priorities are. Mm. So what my family's priorities are may not be what your family's priorities are. So I've got my best friend, her family's priority is, you know, hospitality and um, and homeschooling and um, ministry outside the home, that kind of stuff. And my family's priorities might be, you know, we want to homeschool and want to have a clean house. You know what I mean? Like there mm-hmm. are different. And so make sure the things that you're prioritizing throughout the day align with that. Um, I'd say that would be the big one. Then I would say, take regular breaks, create margin in your day. I feel like we pack our day so much that there's no room to allow things to ebb and flow. So make sure there is margin in your day. Like margin is literally like a space, like make it there, you know? Um, I would say, learn to say no. That's a hard one for me as a people pleaser, but we're working on it. God's working on me. I would say, learn to say no. There are always going to be good things. So learn to say no to the good things for the better things. So I think that is a big one that I've been learning because how can you say no to good things? I'm not a monster, you know? Mm -hmm. (laughs) So it's like, how can I say no to the good thing? But there are better things that the Lord has for you. So learn to say no to the good things that are coming and taking place of the things that God has called you to. So learn to say no. Uh, Number four, I would say batch smaller tasks together. Um, That's something that has really helped in my home. So like, for example, cleaning the shower is cleaning the bathroom is so many different steps, but they make sense. So like I clean the toilet in the morning when I wake up in the morning. Like, it's not like a week where like one day a week where I clean the bathrooms. No, I clean the toilet when I wake up in the morning. That way it's, it's always clean. I clean the shower when I take a shower. That way, 
that's I'm already in there. Might as well do a quick swish and swap, swish and wipe, and then we out of there. I clean the sink after I brush my teeth. Like group um, tasks that make sense, like batch smaller tasks together, um, and then the two minute rule. So that's gonna be my last one. Practice the two minute rule. So if it's on, gonna only take two minutes, just do it, even if it feels like a frog. If it's only gonna take two minutes, just do it. <laughs> well, and those go together really well because yes. like it doesn't take um, more than two minutes to clean the shower if you're already in it. Whereas exactly. it would take two minutes to just go get the supplies if you were doing it as a separate task. Mm-hmm. And when you know your family's priorities, then you know, you have a better filter for yes. what you should be saying no to and not, or, you know, you have that margin. You've looked at your calendar and you know, like, well, actually that's a good thing, but because of our priorities and our calendar, we have to say no to that. And yes. so they all really do work together. Yes. Love it. Mm-hmm. So good. All right. Well, what I know you have a YouTube channel, you have some um, free things online. You want to tell people where to find your videos and the help that you offer other homeschool moms? All my things are plan, prep, pray. So if you go to YouTube, you'll find me at plan, prep, pray, Instagram, same thing. Um, And my website, plan, prep, plan, prep, Pray, yes, even I get confused. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find all like it's like there's a store and there's a bunch of free resources there. And um, hopefully to help you guys and with your meal planning and cleaning routines. And there's even a couple of homeschool stuff there. So definitely check that out. Nice. Well, thank you so much, Wendy. This has been great. Thank you for having me. And that's it for this episode of the Simplified Organization Podcast. If you missed it, remember to go back and find part one of my conversation with Wendy, where she talks about planning and whether or not it's worth the time and effort. Don't forget to check out Wendy's YouTube channel and the resources that she has at Plan Prep Pray. You can find the links in the description below. One of Wendy's tips was to keep margin. If you want to have more margin in your life, but you just aren't sure how to go about making that happen, then check out my time budget tool. You can find it for free at simplyconvivial.com slash time budget. That's all one word, simplyconvivial.com slash time budget. There you'll find a how-to article, podcast and videos, as well as visuals of my time budget and a free download to help you make your own. That's simplyconvivial.com slash time budget. But of course, the most important time management plan is to repent, rejoice, repeat.